Yo, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yo, you guys are not gonna believe this for the very first time. We have been forced, forced to have an emergency, emergency fast on the moment, barely prepared for it. Little situation here. Anyway, here comes the first man, Brad. Bruiser Brad of the Fallen Kingdom coming down to the ring. Oh, would you look at those teeth? Oh, what mm. lack of them. Oh, dude, dude. I can't believe this is actually going on. I cannot believe this is oh, actually going on. Pen. Hey, hey. Okay, so it's very early in the morning. And, you know, I'm pretty tired. But uh, a lot of things have been going down. And I'm pretty sick and tired of it. Uh, there's been a lot of back and forth between this man right here. Bruiser Brad and Tyson Jackson through and over Twitter through general uh, direct messages and yes because I am the type of man I'm in with social media and I know how important it is to be able to contact people through social media so we have a chat for the WDW wrestlers just to make sure them are able to make the shows and all of those things and so that they have easy contact with each other and with myself but what i did not expect is that they would use that as a platform to argue and be petty against each other and you know what i've had it up to here so i have announced that tyson jackson will be facing bruiser brad next week at well next week at the next wdw show and that match will be a no holds barred match. And the only way for them to leave that match will be via pinfall or knockout. There's no such thing as submitting in this match. No such thing. There's no easy way out. You either have to be pinned or you have to be knocked out clean. The loser of that match, if Brad over here loses that match, he will have to be Tyson Jackson's bodyguard until the next pay-per-view. And if at this pay-per-view Tyson Jackson happens to be facing the one and only Mason Foster for the Grand Championship, Bruiser Brad will continue to be um, Tyson's bodyguard even in that match. He will be ringside and loyal to Tyson Jackson. And now you might be saying, what if he turns on him? If he turns on him, he will be fired straight up and if the fallen try to get involved in bruiser brad's match against Tyson jackson again he will he will be fired straight up no excuses so brad here's the thing this kind of match is a pretty it's a pretty dangerous kind of match so over here i'm laying down the contract which basically just says you are willing to put your butt in the line and whatever happens, injury, uh, 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 shortening of career, retirement, death, whatever may occur, you agree to that and you're okay with having the match. So please, if you agree with this, do indeed sign right here on the table. You know, I've seen a lot of shit on the streets of London. But the biggest piece of shit that I've encountered recently... Tyson Jackson. Even the name, like, just pales with insignificance. He thinks he's going to come down here next week and beat me. The man's foolish. Ain't no one in WDW gonna beat the Fallen Kingdom we got Grand Champion Mason Foster we got the Scottish badass Malcolm Black we got Rebecca Evans the lovely lass and then we got me we got the muscle so Tyson Jackson I hope you enjoy following us around I hope you enjoy licking my boots clean after next week there's going to be nothing left of you to even brag about. Oh, and DM Angelo waiting for the second man over here to come down to the ring. Bruiser Brad has already left. 
He's already left, went through the crowds, didn't have any time to spare. Obviously, it's a very early start for all of us over here. And here he is, the man of the hour, Tyson Jackson, decked out in a shirt, a, shirt, a tie. Did, did, you think he knew that it was going to happen, or do you think he just walked around like that? Um, I mean, I heard that he's always he got like already organized and prepared, so I guess so. Tyson Jackson, now you already know why you are out here and I'm not gonna repeat myself all too much you know cuz it's a very very early morning so Tyson Jackson please if you agree to the terms of the contract mean that you will not blame WDW for any harm that is caused to you your body your career your physical and mental stability Come over here and sign the contract. You. Okay. I will now get rid of this. If you want to say a few words about Bruiser Brad, stage is all yours. So, Bruiser Brad, getting your nose in where it doesn't belong. I was just having a conversation with Mason on Twitter about how, you know, congratulating him for being first pick on the show. But obviously, Brad fought, Brad fought otherwise. He thought I was taking it too far and stuck his nose in it. Now he just made the biggest mistake of his life. He insulted me. He showed me disrespect. So I, start, I decided to throw it back. So Brad. Next week, in our match, the stakes on the line, big fight for you. If I win, sorry, when I win, you will be my personal bodyguard. And if, even if whatever they're called, the Fallen Kingdom, get involved, I'll add them to my list as well. So you just made the biggest mistake of your life, as I just said, be careful what you wish for. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's the dragon's den. There's only room for one dragon here in WDW. Let Mason know that after I'm done with you, I'm coming for him, and I'm coming for that grand championship. <laughs>